What is going on guys? It is Halftime Productions. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, I hope you're having a great day. And as you see right here, I have this giant whiteboard and today I have put 32 of the greatest teams in NBA history into one tournament to see who would win. And so guys, I went onto my Instagram at HalftimeYT and I asked you guys in my story, which team should be in this bracket? I let you guys pick. So as you see up on the screen, there are your guys' choices. Somebody actually said the 2023 Chicago Bulls before the Lonzo injury. So I thought it was funny and they're in this bracket, like the only team that probably shouldn't be here, but you never know what's gonna happen in this tournament. And now guys, by the way, if you look at this bracket, it is going to be single elimination, not a best of seven series, only one game to move on. And now you can look at this whole entire bracket, study the team, study the matchups, and tell me down below your final four. Give me four teams that are going to make it to the final four. Has to be one from each region. I'll be shouting you guys out in the next 2K simulation. And speaking of the last 2K simulation, shout out to people on the screen who show love. I always appreciate your guys' support. But this 32-team classic NBA playoff will all be simulated on NBA 2K23 with live games to determine the winner. I do not do any of it for all the guys saying out there that I rig it for the Celtics. I promise I don't. I do not rig this for the Boston Celtics, even though I'm a Celtics fan. It is all similar by 2K. And fellas, this is an insane tournament. I mean, we're talking about the best teams ever with the best players ever from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to Michael Jordan to LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Shaq, Kevin Garnett, Marcus Smart. So I'm done talking. It is time to get this simulation on NBA 2K underway, all with live games. So fellas, go grab your favorite snack, sit down, relax. This is gonna be madness. The road to the NBA Finals and the Final Four all begins here in the first round, round of 32, single elimination. And so guys, it is about time. Let's get this tournament madness underway. Here we go guys. We're gonna begin on this 32 team tournament in San Antonio where the current day NBA champions 2023 Nuggets are tied with the 2014 Spurs. And we are 47 seconds left in this game as Jokic to lay up Missed it, grabs his rebound, and puts it in. And guys, will this be an upset if the Nuggets won this game? Let me know down below. However, here comes the Spurs, 40 seconds down by two, as the Spurs go to Duncan, and he gets blocked by Aaron Gordon, but picks it up and throws it down over Jokic. Oh, you know that was personal. Duncan over Jokic, two of the greatest big men to ever do it. And now, fellas, we got a tie game. 32 seconds, here comes Jamal Murray, shot clock at 18 seconds, Murray looking for Jokic, they go to him, he grabs it, one on one in the post, you gotta bring the double, spin, missed it, gets his rebound, goes up, blocked by Duncan, Tim Duncan right now taking care of Jokic, 19 seconds out of bounds, and there's about an 8 second difference between the game clock and shot clock, Spurs looking for a stop, Nuggets looking for a basket, Jokic has in the corner, goes to Aaron Gordon, shot clock winding down, here's Jamal Jamal Murray against Tony Parker, step back for the lead, no, but they get it back, shot clock's off, down to four seconds, game on the line, Murray gonna try again, bang, Jamal Murray from downtown with .3 seconds, are you serious, Parker didn't get it off in time, and the 2023 Denver Nuggets will knock off the 2014 Spurs in the opening matchup of this 32 team tournament, that has to be one of the craziest finishes we've ever seen, Spurs fans, this one's a heartbreaker. And now we are off to Utah where this to me is kind of an upset as the 86 Atlanta Hawks will knock off the 98 Jazz 105 to 90 your final. So if you have the 98 Jazz in your final four, they're going to be going home in the first round. And now we have a battle of LA. No Lakers fans lose right here because listen, the 87 Lakers, the Showtime Lakers with Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar have just been Shaq and Kobe of the 01 Lakers. So how about this? I thought the 01 Lakers would have won this matchup but I'll go the 87 Lakers, and now we go to Boston. The O Wade Celtics in overtime with the 2021 champion Bucks. Here's Garnett, puts in the jumper over the Greek Freak. Onto the Kumbo and Garnett, two of the greatest power forwards going at it. 40 seconds in overtime, Bucks down by two. Here is Holiday gonna go up for onto the Kumbo and it gets stolen. Not the best decision right there, but the Celtics have a chance right now for the dagger. Fans are on their feet, and the ball in the hands of Kevin Garnett again. 24 seconds remaining. 
spinning, Garnett going left, defended closely, Garnett, step back, jumper, puts it in, Kevin Garnett can't be stopped, won't be stopped, 16 seconds, Bucks, Tormes on the line, down by four, they need a quick three, Holiday to Bobby Portis, no good, Garnett snags it, this place is going crazy, the 08 Suggs have the lead with seven seconds, and that's all she wrote. Down go the 2021 Bucks as the 08 Celtics are proving themselves to be one of the best teams in this tournament already as they knock them out 131 to 125. And now we're going to see the 2019 Toronto Raptors with a 34-point victory over the 2015 Clippers. This wasn't even close. And honestly, the 2019 Raptors are probably a big favorite in this tournament simulation as they are already on their way to the Sweet 16 with ease. And now we go to New York. It is the 1972 Knicks and the 1977 76ers going at it. Oh my goodness, is that a tongue twister or what? Like guys, right now, say the 1977 76ers eight times in a row and tell me what happens. But right now, the 1977 76ers are down by one with 30 seconds. And here we go, the floater, it's good. That was a difficult shot, but they put it in. And I'm not gonna lie, I only know like three or four guys on the court right now. As here's one of them, it's Wolf Frazier, 22 seconds, gives it to Barnett in the paint. Pump fake, did he get away with a double dribble? Guys, comment down below, did he just double dribble or am I seeing something? But the Knicks of 1972 take the lead to 15 seconds. 1977, 76ers down one, three, gets fouled. Man, what is going on with these refs? I mean, I've never seen this worst calls in my life. Anyways, we see the first free throw and it's a tie game. Man, these guys' old beards and haircuts are crazy. But anyways, the 76ers take the lead with 11 seconds and the game is on the line for the 72 Knicks with eight seconds as the shot clock is off. Fans are on their feet. Frazier looking to win the game to move to Sweet 16. Pull up three. Back guy and it's off the mark. And the 1777 Sixers are gonna take this victory by one. And they are moving past the 72 Knicks in a close one. And now here is another Sixer team. It is the 1876ers with Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, and Jimmy Butler. However, they're gonna go down the 04 Pistons. So how about the 04 Pistons winning by five points? And they're gonna knock off Philadelphia. And this 04 Pistons team, I mean, they're underrated as they're moving on the Sweet 16. And now it's the 93 Charlotte Hornets over the 2011 Chicago. Bulls morning puts it in. It's a 12 point game. Who would expect this? I honestly thought the 2011 Bulls with Derrick Rose would have moved past this team. But Charlotte fans, one of your teams is moving on. As now we see the 94 Rockets in the 06 Heat battling it out in Miami. As the Houston Rockets with 41 seconds have a two point lead. Elijah Wong put in their free throw. As here comes Dwayne Wade behind the back. Going at Maxwell, shot clock down to 16 seconds. Wade the screen from O'Neal. Wade, he's too quick, and he gets the basket. We are tied at 106 with 30 seconds, and these Heat fans, they rise to their feet. And honestly, both these teams are so evenly matched, as here is Kenny Smith on NBA TNT. But now you see him in 2K, and he goes to rim, and he's blocked by his fellow broadcaster, Kenny Smith, blocked by Shaq. Oh my goodness, with 15 seconds on the 06 Heat, I'm a chance to take the lead. Down to 10 seconds, I mean Shaq and Kenny, they're always going at it, even in the simulations, as here's Wade, gives it, Jason Williams, oh he puts it in. With three seconds, the 06 Heat have the lead. No timeouts, Kenny Smith, it's, oh my goodness, that almost dropped actually. However, the 94 Rockets will go down as the hero Jason Williams from downtown wins the game. And now it looks like we got the 1971 Bucks over the 07 Spurs, 123 to 86. This was kind of a blowout. And so Spurs fans, I don't know what to say. Both your teams are going out in the first round as Oscar Robertson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar of the 71 Bucks move on. And oh my goodness, guys, this can't be real. Remember at the beginning of the video, the guy that said that the Bulls before Lonzo got injured this year should be in this tournament? Well, they're down by one of the 2017 Warriors as Curry misses it. Zach Levine, the Rebound. This could be the biggest upset in Optime off Productions history as we are down to 11 seconds. The 2017 Warriors, everybody's favorite to an assimilation, have their hopes on the line. The ball in the hands of Levine with three seconds. The 23 Bulls looking for the upset and they're not gonna get.
get it for what an effort. Maybe this guy was a genius. Maybe this 23 Bulls team with Alonzo was unbeatable because they just took the Warriors down in five seconds. Anyways, Golden State still wins to move on. And down go the 96 Supersonics as the 2013 Heat will move on. So both Miami teams win in the first round. And I don't know about you guys, but looking at this Supersonics arena, man, I miss the NBA in Seattle. As down goes Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, 110 to 118. As now we have a pretty good matchup here with the Sacramento Kings in 2001 are down to the 011 Mavericks or the 11 Mavericks I should say with 43 seconds and then to get Doug Christie on an open three and he missed that that would have gave Sacramento the lead but with 35 seconds the 2011 Mavericks looking for the dagger fans on their feet it's the only Dallas team in this tournament as Jason Kitts working on Paige Storyakovich 10 in the shot clock they go to Jason Terry Kings playing some good defense shot clock going down to five seconds Terry on the screen to Dirk no way game he gets up and jams at home timeout sacramento with 17 seconds but guys that is all she wrote in this one the kings misfire and the 2011 dallas mavericks are on their way to the sweet 16 with a 119 a 124 win a close one but they ultimately knock off the 01 kings and now as we continue this big 32 team tournament in the first round we go to memphis and another golden state warrior team moves on so the golden state warriors are two for two as the 2016 warriors the team that didn't win the championship will knock off the Grizzlies of 2013, 133 to 98. So down goes Memphis. But now going to Cleveland, the 2016 Cavaliers will knock off the 86 Celtics, 106 to 87. And this may be the best first round matchup we had. Two great teams going at it. And for LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love, they're looking to go to the Final Four in the simulation as they're one step closer. They move to the Sweet 16. Another upset alert in Chicago. A lot of people's favorites, the 96 Bulls, are only up by one point against the 2012 OKC Thunder but they have the ball 40 seconds up one looking for the dagger Ron Harper has it looking for Jordan Harper throws it up and it's stolen by James Harden the beer on the break finds Westbrook Westbrook ahead of the pack and he gets the layup to go man Prime Westbrook is so quick outruns everybody on the floor and all of a sudden the 2012 Thunder have the lead and man the Bulls lose this game your brackets are probably busted unless you have the 2012 Thunder winning this one as they go to Jordan against Harden and he misses it rebound a block with 11 seconds these 96 Bulls fans can't believe it Jordan will have to foul as they send KD to the line with 11 seconds it isn't over yet as he misses the first one so either way it's gonna be a one or two point game as Durant knocks down the second game on the line for the 96 Bulls 11 remaining inbound to Harper you gotta go to Michael Jordan six seconds Harper now with five the screen Harper with two five Pippen for the win and he missed it Scotty Pippen blew it an open three pointers no good and the 2012 OKC Thunder will go into Chicago and stun the 96 Bulls what a first round upset so now fellas we are on the sweet 16 after the round of 32 is over what a crazy first round we saw the 12 Thunder knock off the 96 Bulls that was pretty big upset, as well as some others. But you see the matchups, and hopefully your final four teams are still in it, all four of them. Because without further ado, we're going to get into the simulation right now in NBA 2K to see which teams will move on the Elite Eight. They're the Sweet 16 matchups. So sit down, sit back, relax, and let's keep on moving in this 2K sim. Here we go. We will begin the Sweet 16 in Denver where the 2023 Nuggets will continue their run as they knock off the 04 Pistons, 107-124. So the first team on the Elite Eight will be the Denver Nuggets of this season. And I wonder how many of you guys out there have this team in your Final Four. As anyways, down go the Pistons. And now we're going to go to Dallas. It is the 2011 Mavericks squeaking by the 9-3 Hornets. And I'm surprised the 9-3 Hornets put up a great fight in this tournament. But ultimately, they're going to be going home in the second round as the Mavericks with Dirt and the Whiskey move on to the Elite Eight. And now we got a close one in Philadelphia, the 17th. Oh my goodness, I keep saying the 1776ers. What is George Washington playing for this team? No, he doesn't. It's the 1977 Sixers and the 86 Hawks going at it at 93 apiece in overtime. 34 seconds. Here come the Hawks. It's Dominique Wilkins on the break. 
Wilkins, no, and he puts it back though on his own miss. So the Hawks go up by two with 27 seconds. Timeout, 77 Sixers. And so now after the timeout, down to the ball in the hands of Bibby. 23 seconds, the paint to Dawkins, and one. Oh my goodness, Dale Dawkins ties the game in a chance for the lead with 23 seconds. Fans are on their feet, the free throw is up. But he missed it. Rebounds Rollins as now the 86 Hawks have it in a tie game as the shot clock is off. Dominique Wilkins against Dr. J. I mean, two of the greatest players ever. And so, fellas, here we go. Under 10 seconds, it comes down to this. Will we go to double overtime as Wilkins currently moves on Dr. J? Crossover gets the paint, and they're going to call a foul on Dr. J. And now, Dominique Wilkins goes to the line where free throw could ice it. And he puts it in, 27 and 15 on the night. That could most likely do it as the Sixers at a timeout. Oh man, I actually like this 1776er squad. Free for the win, please. It's no good. And we gotta say goodbye to the 1776ers. I know the 1977ers. I just like calling them that as the 86 Atlanta Hawks win to move on. And down go the 2013 Heat. Honestly, I thought this game was going to be a lot closer, but the 2016 Warriors will win 128-87. to LeBron James had a great game, but it doesn't matter because Stephen Curry and this team are moving on as the Miami Heat of 2013, the champions, will be going out. And so now make it back-to-back -back Golden State teams going to the Elite Eight as the 2017 Warriors will walk into Milwaukee, winning 138-119, to taking out the 1971 Bucks. And how about both? With Golden State teams in this simulation, they are on a roll. As for Kareem and Oscar Robertson, their tournament hopes will end in the second round. But now we go to Cleveland, the 08 Celtics and the 2016 Cavs are tied with 35 seconds. And this is such a great matchup as well in the second round. As here's LeBron James to the paint with a layup. It's good. Cavs have the lead with 30 seconds. This place is going wild. And LeBron has a chance to knock off both Celtics team back to back. In the first round, it'd be the 86 Celtics. And now it's a chance to be the 08. Celtics. Rondo has fouled on this game as they go to Granada. He had that great first game against the Bucks. He's against Love. Down by two. 16 seconds. Fade. No. Eddie House to Ray Allen. Ray Allen with the shot clock running down. Back to House. Bang! He gets a three with nine seconds. Celtics have the lead. LeBron James on a timeout. Bringing the ball up the court. Goes past Pierce. LeBron to Love. Fires. Got it! Unbelievable with 0.6 seconds inbound. It's good if it goes from Eddie House. It's an air ball. And LeBron James has just beaten another Celtics team in this tournament. These fans can't believe it, and neither can I. I mean, what is going on? What a crazy game. And now as we go to Miami, the 06 Miami Heat will knock off the 2019 Raptors in the Sweet 16. So how about this? Did anybody see the 06 Heat go in the Elite Eight? As the 2019 Raptors, a lot of people's favorites to make the Final Four probably, are going out in the second round, losing this game by six points. And now our last matchup of the Sweet 16 will come down to this with 24 seconds. 87 Lakers, 2012 Thunder, one point game. Here we go. Magic Johnson against Russell Westbrook. He beats him off the dribble. Johnson, oh, with the rack attack. Magic Johnson and one. Kendrick Perkins can't believe it, but that was a foul. I mean, Magic Johnson went up, threw it down over a couple players on the Thunder. Serge Ibaka included. Oh my goodness, he still can't believe it. They're getting into an argument as he goes to line up by one with 14.3. And he misses a free throw. Thunder, a chance to win the game. They knocked out the 96 Bulls in the first round. And now can they knock out the 87 Lakers? Five seconds. Harden with three. Harden going right. Harden gives it to the Durant. No. It's off the mark. And the 1987 Lakers are moving on to the Elite Eight. Squeaking by the 2012 Thunder. What a game. What a finish. But man, get up for OKC. What a shot they gave it. So guys, eight teams remaining. Here we have it, the 06 Heat, 23 Nuggets, 16 Cavs, 87 Lakers, 17 Warriors, 16 Warriors, 85 Hawks, and the 11 Mavericks. It has been a crazy simulation so far, but now fellas, it's time to find out which teams are going to the final four. I mean, if you have all of your teams still in it, congratulations. But now we are gonna enter the Elite Eight in this 2K simulation with live games. So sit down, sit back, relax. Road to the Final Four begins right here in the Elite Eight. Let's go.
And so guys, the first team to move on to the Final Four will be the 2011 Dallas Mavericks as they knock off the 2016 Warriors. How about this? Did anybody have this Mavericks team in their Final Four? Well, if you did, you already won for one as down goes one Golden State Warriors team losing by 11. And now going to LA, Maddie Johnson out the line. Lakers up by two against the 2016 Cavs. 11 seconds. First free throw, it's good. It's a three point game, but this is the big one to make it a two possession game. And he's got them both. 2016 Cavaliers down by four. Need a quick three. LeBron James with eight seconds, bringing the ball up the court, swinging the corner. Pump fake the three on its way. No. Rebound Thompson. Time's going to run out. And the 87 Lakers are the second team to advance to the final four as they knock off the 2016 Cavs, winning by four points. And now the third team going to the Final Four will be the current day Denver Nuggets. Who predicted this as they knock off the 06 Miami Heat 117 102? I honestly can't believe it. A current team today is in the Final Four, the greatest teams ever. As now we're going to go to Atlanta, the 86 Hawks runs will come to an end. I mean, what a great tournament they had. But ultimately, it is the 2017 Warriors who were the last team to punch a ticket to the Final Four, winning 133 to 115. So, guys, this Final Four is already set up. It is going to be crazy as down go the 86 Hawks. Guys, the Final Four is finally here as we have the current day Denver Nuggets, the 87 Lakers, 17 Warriors, and the 11 Mavs. I mean, if you got at least one or two of these correct, congratulations. If you got three or four, that is actually wild. Let me know down below. But anyways, guys, it's time to find out which two teams are moving on to the big championship game. So without further ado, we're going to continue the 32-team tournament in the Final Four. You see the teams. So guys, let's continue the simulation here on NBA 2K. Here we go. The Final Four is underway and we are tied at 117 in Dallas as Kevin Durant and the 2017 Warriors have the ball. Durant the jumper, it's no good. Rebound and the 2011 Mavericks just beat the 2016 Warriors and now they're going against the 2017 Warriors. It doesn't get any harder than that, but right now they have a chance to win this game. They are tied as Durant the Whiskey has the ball with 40 seconds. Jab step on Iguodala has a hate mismatch and he throws it away. Stolen by Golden State on the break. Here comes Thompson. Thompson the drive, finds Durant, Durant throws it down. Timeout Dallas with 30 seconds, and right now, they're down by two. So here we go, 30 seconds, final four on the line. Who's gonna go to the championship? It's Jason Terry against Clay Thompson, 17 the shot clock. Kidd's gonna fire a three, and he's gonna hit it. Jason Kidd, not known for three pointers, buries one, and all of a sudden, the Mavericks have the lead with 18 seconds, but here comes Durant, defended by Sean Marion, fans are on their feet, Durant at the free throw line, crossover, behind the screen, fade away, buries it, Kevin Durant with 8.7 seconds, no timeouts for the Mavericks, can they get a basket, inbound to Kidd, four, three, can he's gonna give it up or shoot it, goes to Nowitzki, Good! Mavs win it! They're going to the championship! Counting at the buzzer! Oh, what a finish here! And the Mavericks are moving on! And the Warriors fans out there, I know you can't believe it! And guys, the Mavericks have just been back-to-back 2016 Warriors and the 2017 Warriors. That is crazy! And now the 87 Lakers will knock off the Denver Nuggets 140-103! to And the Lakers will go to the championship game! But man, you gotta give credit for this 2023 Nuggets squad as they get all the way to the Final Four! Who expected that? But they will be going down as Kareem and Mavs Johnson keep on winning and they're moving on to the big game and so it's gonna come down to this the 1987 LA Lakers versus the 2011 Dallas Mavericks Kareem vs Dirk Magic vs Jason Kidd I mean what a matchup both of these teams have had tough roads to get here and it comes down to these last two teams out of 32 so if you got one of these teams right in the championship congratulations but now one game one game to determine the winner of today's simulation and to be crowned the greatest nba team ever here we go guys it's gonna come down to the championship on nba 2k lakers mavs who's gonna take it home well let's find out fellas here we 
go. Championship is on the line in LA. Mavericks down by two. A minute remaining. It's going to come down to this as Terry can't get it over Kareem as the 87 Lakers have it up by two with 52 seconds. Looking for the dagger. It's still out of all 32 teams, guys. We are down to the last two and we are down to the last 45 seconds of this tournament as the 2011 Mavericks need a place in defense. Needing a stop. Cooper the three won't go. Offensive rebound though. They get it back. Shot clock goes at 10 seconds. Worthy goes to Maddie Johnson and it's no good. Mavericks are in this game. Down by two, 20 in the shot clock. Here is Jason Terry. Oh my goodness, I mean, you gotta go Dirt the Whiskey right here, but I think he's fouled out. He's not in the game. Dirt the Whiskey is fouled out as Terry gonna have to be him. Gets to the paint, scores! Jason Terry says, I'm gonna take this team and put it on my back as he ties the game. So now we got 12 seconds, and the 87 Lakers have a chance to win a championship right here. Cooper gets to the paint, takes it back out. Now down to four seconds, Cooper finds Magic, Johnson, spin for the win! No! We are going overtime in the championship game, extra minutes here in LA, but man, what a game we got going on, who's gonna take it home? Now as we enter overtime, 44 seconds, and we are still tied, no winner yet in this game, and with Dirk being out, the Mavs are to rely on the others to win this game, 36 seconds, shot clock down to 12, Jason Terry, he's been big so far, will they continue to go to him? I think they are, the screen from Chandler, Terry, cross, gets to the paint, Jason Terry goes to Tyson Chandler, now to Stevenson, he's got the fire, no, rebound, timeout LA, and another opportunity to win this game. Will we be going to double overtime, or can the Lakers take on the championship right here, right now? Johnson with 14 seconds, doesn't have to go early, what is he doing? He missed it, and now the Mavericks have with 8 seconds, a chance to win the championship. Here comes Kidd, Dallas on a timeout, Kidd to Terry, Terry finds one open Chandler, but he gets blocked by a Doja Bar. Are you serious? That might be the best block we've ever seen in Outdoor Productions history. Chandler was inches away from flushing it. He was wide open. And out of nowhere, Kareem gets it. And with 0.2 seconds, you can't get a shot off. But man, I thought the Mavs had it right there. And now all of a sudden, we're going to double OT in the championship. What a game, what a game. Double overtime, 23 seconds. Still no winner as Jason Kidd. Here we are, looking to take the lead. Broken against Johnson. Kidd, nothing there. Goes to Pages to Yorkovich. 10 in the shot clock. Here is Bowler. Now winded down. We're on the screen. Bowler, Chandler. Gets it to go. He gets revenge after getting blocked. But now just seven seconds remain. 87 Lakers at a timeout. Torm is on the line. It's going to come down to this. Johnson, step back for the win. Off the mark. And the 2011 Dallas Mavericks are your greatest team of all time. Winning this 32 team tournament. Oh, what a finish. Dirt no whiskey. He does it. I know he fouled out, but still, he has taken this team all the way here. And they have got it done against the 87 Lakers in the championship. And if you watch this whole entire video through, comment down below. Go. I'm going to see all your comments. To say the least, this video was absolute madness. And for some reason, 2K won't let us see the celebration. But, anyways, guys. I really do appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It was a long one, but it was so much fun nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next 2K simulation. Have a great day. It is After Productions, and we out.